want to go back to an issue that um, Ms. Richards referenced, and I think um, you did as well, Ms. Chadwell, in your discussion about venture capital. Right now, the country's having what I think is a very important conversation about sexual harassment in the workplace. And um, fortunately, a lot of people are coming forward and saying this is not right. Unfortunately, we've seen that in terms of access to venture capital as well. Um, earlier this year, several female entrepreneurs told the New York Times about unwanted sexual advances made by influential venture capitalists. Last week, the founder of Rent the Runway, Jennifer Hyman, discussed the harassment she experienced while raising $190 million from venture, cap venture capitalists. Um, so clearly, this is um, something that exists in the venture capital industry as well. And I wonder, Ms. Chadwell, if you could talk about this a little bit. Are experiences like Ms. Hyman's commonplace and how do you see trying to address this issue? I think experiences like this are commonplace in every industry. I think we've been seeing it in the entertainment and the venture capital industry specifically as of late, but I think it's systemic. And I think that a lot of issues like this will go away as we get to closer to parity where we have more women CEOs and when we have more women venture managers. And, and not just the sexual harassment issue, but we have other issues that we're working on as well, like equal pay and also maternity and family issues, a lot of those may not have to be legislated if you have women CEOs. Thank you. Do either of you want to add anything to that? Unconscious bias is, is so strong. And there are a lot of formulas that have worked over time. And when, you're, when your formula is working and you're making money, it really takes leadership from folks like you all to push those industries to think outside. Um, I, I hear, when I was raising money the last two years, I heard over and over that anything that's women focused is not a, not a large enough market. It's a niche market, even though we're 51% of the population and had 85% of consumer spending. So I think that bias um, is pretty rampant. Well, thank you. And I want to go back to the access to capital as well. Um, we've got a chart here that shows what all of you pointed out in terms of um, the situation with women-owned businesses and their access to capital. So you can see um, the blue columns are majority women-owned, and all other firms are the orange column. So we can see the difference in terms of venture capital funding, um, the total amount of conventional lo business loans, and in the prime contract awards, which is exactly what all of you had to say, but when you see it on that chart, it really brings it home, just the disadvantages that women-owned businesses face. So, Ms. Richards, you told a story that actually reminded me a little bit of my own experience about uh, the entrepreneur who was turned away because her husband wasn't there. I remember when I first um, was applying for credit, my husband had to sign the bank forms uh, in order to do that because we hadn't yet changed the laws. So um, how, do we, how do we continue to address these issues and what steps, what other steps can we take to prevent instances of bias by bank lenders against women business owners? Disclosure is critical. So 1071 of the Dodd-Frank Act requires um, data to be collected on women and minority-owned businesses and, and uh, the loans made to them until we can start quantifying really the discrepancy. Instead of just using anecdotal information, we're not really going to be able to get to some of the roots of it. Um, small business lending is in so many ways different than all of the other bank lending because it is not solely um, numbers driven. There's so many elements of it. And, Lenders decide if they want this business and this loan in their portfolio. So it's very different. So we need to start creating some parameters and implement 1071 of Dodd-Frank Act. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.